let's take a look at how we can green screen or luma key within Premiere. So I've got a piece of footage here. This is from, I think it's a green screen from Hollywood Green Screens. Um, take a look at the website. There's a bunch of, of tutorials and tests out there that you can play around with. This is one. Just um, We're not going to worry about tracking it at this point. We're just going to look at keying the green. So we'll go ahead and jump in. I'm in my editing mode and I'm going to go to my effects panel and um, we're going to use ultra key. So we can go into video effects, uh, keying down below, to, 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 to ultra key. So we'll take a look at ultra key. Just drag it over on top of our footage. <clears throat> another way to do that, another way to add something to your clip is if you select, have your clip selected like that and you have your effect, if you just double click your effect, it applies it to that clip that you have selected. All right, so we've got ultra key there. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And we're going to <clears throat> use our little eyedropper tool. And I look for a shadow or one of our darker sections of the green. So I'm going to take a look at like this diamond right here. Actually, this one right here might be a better one. And it looks like garbage right now. Um, from here, what I like to do is I change this output from composite to alpha. So we're just looking at black and white information. And anything white is, is completely opaque. Everything black is transparent. So now let's go into matte generation down below here, matte generation. And we're going to play around with some of these different, um, these different effects or these different attributes. Uh, one thing right off the bat, I know I want to bring pedestal up. We'll bring the tolerance up to 100 usually. Shadow. There we go. I bring my highlights down to zero. Let's just adjust the transparency down to, so that's pretty good right there, actually down to five. Um, what happens if I push the pedestal? Not bad at all. That's pretty, pretty quick and easy. Now you still see there's some other stuff around here. If I wanted to get rid of this frame, I would just go ahead into opacity on my, there we go, opacity. And I would create a mask, and I would just basically do this. Boop. Just like so. Let's move some of that back up. And now, so there. So now I've got rid of, the, I've removed all that other nonsense around the right side. And let's go back to the uh, ultra key again, because it's still black and white and change that over to composite. And there we go. Now you can see there's a white bar or a white line around outlining our, our person. So what we can do to clean that up is just like that. We're gonna go clean up, or matte clean up, and we'll add a choke to it. And you can see as I boost the choke up, to this, in this case it's about 36, and I'm gonna go ahead and soften that so it's not so harsh. A little bit, maybe just the contrast a little bit. And just like that, we have got her keyed out. Now if I scrub through this, um, I'll have to do some animating with the, with the mask that I did in the opacity it, with this mask. I'll have to animate this because it's going to, as you can see, we get some garbage there and garbage there. So I'll have to animate that. Um, just real quickly, we'll just go ahead and click the stopwatch next to Matt's mask path. Let's move out here. Select that mask again. Bring it in like so. Like so. Make sure it's good. Yep. Look. Oh, yep. And we'll take it. Where does it come into play? Right there, maybe. So bring it in like so. And like that. And so there we go. Now we don't have her in the shot. All we have is her in the shot now. Everything else is gone. And that's real quickly how to, we just did a mask and we did the ultra key to remove, oh, looks like there's a little schmutz there. But uh, we removed the ultra key, removed the key from that using ultra key within Premiere.